Hello there. Happy December 22nd. I'm filming this on December 22nd for a very specific reason. Today marks the day of my baptism into the religion known as Jehovah's Witnesses. December 22nd, 1974, I was sitting there in this huge auditorium waiting to be baptized and the speaker said, among other things, remember this date, remember this date today, December 22nd, 1974. And I have, I remembered it. I remember sitting in the audience listening to the talk intently as an 11 year old not fully understanding it but feeling absolutely certain that this was necessary because of what 1975 had to offer everyone was looking to 1975 as being the drop dead date of the end of this system of things as the jw's worded i remember after we answered the two questions Yes, yes. Then we stood up and we, it was a lot of us, were walking up the aisle back to the back of the auditorium where we would then exit the building and go to our separate cars, go to the YMCA. That's where I got uh, baptized. YMCA, can you imagine? And as I was walking back there in the line with all these other baptism candidates, I, as an 11 year old, was looking around the auditorium seeing all these people in this huge space. And I was thinking, I wonder if this world would still be here long enough for me to say that I've been baptized for teen number of years. Now, of course, I didn't expect it because we all knew at the time that we were looking forward to October or at least the fall of 1975. But I said it anyway, in my mind, I wonder how long I will be baptized in this world. Will I be baptized long enough to say I've been baptized for teen a number of years? Well, here it is, 49 years later. Now, certainly, I made my exit years ago in the year 2018. So, um, but today does mark the, the date anyway. Now, the reason for posting this today is because I've always heard the term it's right around the corner. Just around the corner. And it's just around the corner. Soon, any day now. There are dates along the way given. 1975. And I know there are JWs watching this that are saying, well, they've never said 1975. They never said that the end was gonna come in 1975. Let's be genuine in our thoughts. Let's be intellectually responsible with how we word things, okay? Because there's a difference between um, explicit and implicit language. Now, every last one of us who were around during those years understood the implications of what was being said. We totally understood it. And I'll be posting a video later on down the line in the new year, that's my goal at least, about this whole thing about 1975. Many have already posted their videos about it and uh, I'm just gonna put my take on it as well, eventually. But for now, let's be intellectually honest and say that if you were around during those days, you knew what the feeling was. You knew the vibe in the air, okay? just around the corner, right around the corner, soon, and the rest of it. I have questions that I would like to ask you. And I'm gonna end this part of the video right here and um, put up the questions. And I would like you to take a few minutes, if you don't mind, to get ready to answer these questions. If you don't mind, Pull up the comment section first. Get ready and number the questions. One, two, three, and there's gonna be parts of the uh, last question there. It's gonna be A, B, and C. And if you don't mind just answering them in real time as you listen to the questions, answer 
You listen to the next question, answer. Listen to the next question and answer, and then prepare yourself for what follows, okay? We'll see how you feel at the end of it. Just wanted to say hello to you all on today's date, December 22nd. We'll see you again on the next video. Thank you very much for your comments, for your viewership, um, and for your support. Until next time. Questions to consider. Are you currently of or in the Jehovah's Witness faith? Do you believe the Bible reveals in no uncertain terms who to follow or who not to follow? How many ways would the Bible have to tell you something for you to A, understand it, B, believe it, and C, abide by it? Based on your answers, consider the following. In Luke chapter 21, verse 8, he said, who said, by the way, look out that you are not misled, for many will come on the basis of my name, saying, I am he, and the due time is near. Do not go after them. Get ready. Are you ready? A great day of Jehovah is near. The end is imminent. For we are poised at the threshold of God's new world. The time is getting near when the anointed will hear the final call. The end is close at hand. The end is rapidly drawing near. The great tribulation is near. The events unfolding around us are making clearer than ever that we're living in the final part of the last days Undoubtedly, the final part of the final part of the last days, shortly before the last day of the last days. And it's just around the corner.